So I'm gonna teach you guys a Maltese word. What did I teach Larry? And you see a good cheat meal. You're gonna be up there with the best one. <laughs> you have the genetics for it, absolutely. You look f***ing massive bro in the comment now. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, this is the Anomaly, we're gonna hit some legs today, so I'm doing an upper lower split, as you know, and next up is my f my first leg day in the week. My breakfast, which is gonna be three eggs, I'm gonna have some beef, 250 grams of beef, with 100 grams of pineapple and some broccoli with it. If you're gonna bodybuild and you wanna stay lean, like you wanna reduce the chances of getting fat this is what you need to use i like using the the sunflower oil one or the olive oil one but they're they're all the same maybe there's a slight slight like subtle difference in taste but it's just used to so it doesn't stick you know i remember a guy told me the olive oil one is the best because it's the healthiest but it's a one calorie spray, like what, what's it gonna do to you? It's not gonna kill you. So in reality, it doesn't matter. I just get anyone that's available. I don't always find the olive oil one. I just get whatever I see. You wanna show them my bed? Go show them my bed, go bring it. <laughs> I have two beds. You see? This one's the, the woman, she's the ugly one. Man, shut your b And there's the fat one. What you doing? Because they have white shorts. I don't want another one then. La la madam, nice. You look like a house, like a jacked housewife. <laughs> I'm very hungry lately because I lost a lot of weight. I'm still at 100, but now I lost so much water retention. Like I look very good, you know, I'm, I'm full, I'm lean. And when you're full and lean, you get very hungry. From my experience, that's the worst. Like on a bus. You get to a point where your appetite goes down. The worst feeling is after the buck when you reduce the food and you still have the appetite from the buck, you know. There's also the feeling of after prep, after weeks of dieting, and you can finally eat, uh, like you can finally eat as much as you can. That's one of the hardest like fights you need to have in your head. That's why most people can't handle it. The hunger you feel on prep, it's crazy. But also, after prep, a lot of people, they get fat too quickly because they can't fight this feeling, this hunger. They just want to live life and enjoy food. But the people who stick to the diet and, and they follow it even after prep, and they try to stick to a protocol that helps, helps them stay lean and gain lean mass, the best time to build muscle is after a competition. Like, that is... The rebound phase where you just blow up, your body starts absorbing food like a machine and everything that you eat, it goes all into the muscle. So imagine you just, you're inflating a balloon. That's, that's how you feel. I blew up after my first prep. That's why I want to compete soon because I want to get another rebound phase and just blow up the same way. Because you get to a certain level of body fat where it's, it's unhealthy, you know. So your body goes into survival mode and when you start giving it food, it just absorbs it so much that it's almost not human. I, I see it as not human. Like it's not normal, you know, the growth that you get, it's like another puberty. That's 250 grams of beef and now I'll do three eggs. You like eggs? I still need to egg you, you know. You'll never egg me because you're too scared. 50k, I'm gonna egg you in the gym, watch. Watch. <laughs> yeah. 50k, eh? 50k, I'll eat an egg in the gym. What, just like that? Just yes. with the shell, everything? Yes. What the fuck? Me, man, I don't give a f. So I'm gonna teach you guys a Maltese word. What did I teach Larry? Abba Madoni. Abba Madoni. I don't even know what it means. What Abba Madoni? Ah. Pin Madonna Madonna. Ah, Bamadonna, that's when you use it. That's what happens, that's what happens when your life falls, you say that. Ah, Bamadonna. It's still raw here, but I don't care. <laughs> so this is lighter than light mayo. Now I'll put some actual ketchup. It's insane how good my taste buds are again. I always like to have pineapples with like two of my meals. They help you digest the food better. And I also have 
any dark green vegetables or just green veg essentially broccoli you can have asparagus you can have spinach you know it's important to keep veggies in your diet because gut health is very very important so now we're just gonna head to the gym and I'm gonna have a killer leg workout fueled by Dragon Farmer. I'm gonna pass by a shop because I'm gonna look for some lights because I wanna upgrade my room a bit because you like because you guys like the talking videos, the one I did on Togi. So it gave me an idea for a new series, but I'm gonna need to upgrade my mic. I need to get new lights so the camera actually looks good because my room has zero light. And uh, yeah, I'm excited because it's gonna be I like doing those type of videos, just talking, you know. And since you guys enjoy it, I will deliver. So let us go and buy everything we need. And then Michelle is gonna pick us up, my girlfriend, and she, he's gonna drive us to the gym because me, you know, I'm the 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 girlfriend in the relationship. Passenger princess, man. Me, passenger princess. Oh, huh? they don't have a car right now. It got f the turbo got, f and. Um, I'm still waiting on it to get fixed. So while it's being fixed, she's gonna drive me to the gym today. She's gonna come with us. I might train a bit with her and then we'll continue on our own because we are men and we train hard. <laughs> okay, now let's go. Oh, we are about to walk into the gym. Here is my, my girlfriend. <laughs> The one that you like, I'm, I'm bringing her more in videos. Yeah, I'm actually liked, I like that. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'll do half the workout with you. Because I need to hit more glutes. What, what's your workout? I don't know, oh, okay. <laughs> it's on my phone. <laughs> it, I trust in Nick, I don't remember. Okay, okay. But it starts with doctors like you and also the ass kicking mm -hmm. one. All right. So yeah, we'll start off with some doctors. Lying leg curl, then I have a hack squat. Not doing that. And then I think leg extension. I think I have another hamstring movement. Then calves and abs, and we're ready. So oh, yes. let us let us go. Yes, it's a quick one. I did cardio yesterday, so I don't need to do cardio today. We'll, we'll finish perfectly today. Maybe. While maybe. you're doing cardio, I'll be doing calves. Probably, yeah. And then we're gonna go. Then we're gonna go swimming. We're gonna go pool. And we're gonna we're gonna get something to eat post workout as well. We're gonna, I'm gonna have Michelle taste the new Venom Inferno. But just a sip though. For her, for example, if she takes 150, yeah, that's too much. That's too much already. That's too much for me. I don't feel it. He literally. I go up to <laughs> I go up to 500 because I'm I'm used to the caffeine. But this this is the same thing for everything. Like if I go beyond 500, I'm gonna feel like shit. And it's the same for her. If she goes beyond 150, she's gonna feel like shit. So just, just be careful. <laughs> you don't need a lot. You just need to work, like train hard, and you need to eat. That's the the main part. Don't stress about dosages, because no one really cares. And this is not just about um, caffeine. Mm. You like it? It's bitter. But they love me, no? It's okay. It's okay. It's just a bit sour. But it's good. That, that's the Mr. Veins. Okay. I f it. <laughs> <laughs> On its own, it's nice. Mixing it with the Mr. Veins, it gives it a more bitter taste. We're going to start off with a doctor's. She already knows how to train a doctor, so I'm not going to show her, but just, we're just going to get into <laughs> it. She knows how to train a doctor's, at least. At least. But the thing is, we can only do a doctor's and then one exercise more because if i train with you a lot mm. your estrogen is gonna come on to me and i will lose gains it's very nice i'm just warming up because last time i didn't warm up well i pulled my abductor so let's not repeat the same mistake i warmed up with his warm-up by the way right <laughs> so that's that's a funny yes, thing yes. that's a funny thing Good, good. <laughs> I'm gonna start my working sets. We're just gonna up it like twice the weight. I will do four sets, 12 to 15 reps. Keep the tempo slow and just get a good squeeze when you're closed. So this is my last set. And look at how slow I'm gonna do it. And I wanna emphasize 
on the screen. I'm going to show us to properly do a hamstring curl. Ah, belly burning. Good. Ah, you see my, you need to keep your on the seat as much as possible. So this is what I need to lower the weight when you train. So you have better control, you have full control of the motion. I'm doing the reps. My ass is glued to the seat. I'm not moving it. If there's a slight movement, it's just because I'm trying to keep it together. But usually you see people, they go like this. You see? Like the ass is up like that. Uh -huh. Needs to be like this. You need to imagine a penny in between your cheeks. And you're trying to hold it with your cheeks and it does, so it doesn't fall. That's what you need to imagine. As I said before, you're trying to impregnate the seat. That is what you need to imagine. Like, keep that in your head. Never bring your ass up. There's less hamstring activation. You glue your hip and glutes into the seat here and you pull with your hamstring. And it's all going to be hamstring and you're going to feel it. And your feet need to be pointing outwards, not straight, out, you know, and you just pull. Here with the hip thrust, I will do hack squat. Boom. Okay, so as you see, I try to go as low as I can. There's no tension on my lower back, so I have no problems doing it. I'm not going heavy to the point where I cannot lock out, you know. It's only dangerous to lock out if you're, if you're packing on like five plates. If it's just two plates and a ten, it's not heavy. I'm making it heavy by the way I'm lifting it. But I know we're being safe, so do not worry about my knees. Just look at how I'm how I'm doing the reps, really slow. Next, leg press, this three set here. Do some calves. It's, what, it's supposed to be a seated, but there's no sort of calf raise, so the next best, best thing is a standing calf raise. The important thing on these is you squeeze hard at the top. We're done with today's workout. Now we're gonna go to the pool. I'm gonna take my post workout shake. So I just filled up my way isolate with water. Gonna give it a shake. I'll drink it. We'll go relax in the pool a bit. And then after, when the shake is fully digested, so an hour, we're gonna spend an hour in the pool. I'm gonna go eat from outside. We'll take you guys with us. And you'll see a good cheat meal. I'm gonna record you. Hmm? <laughs> we're going to the pool. No. Yes, let's go. Okay, how do you do it though? Uh, yes.
that. I got calamari as a starter. I ordered sushi and the ribeye. Now let's get the f*** out. Hello there. We can dive in. What I got? Ribeye. Sashimi. Tokatsu rolls. Just a bunch of sushi. 